Welcome to SAM classes. Today we are going to read long questions and answer from discount and VAT for SE. So watch carefully till end. Question number one. A shopkeeper for marks the price of his goods 40% above the cost price and allows 20% discount if his purchase price of goods is R6000 how much should a customer pay for it leaving 13% VAT solution CP of goods is equal to R6000 according to question MP of goods is equal to CP plus 40% of CP because MP is 40% greater than CP. 6000 plus 40% of 6000. 6000 plus 40% means 40 by 100 into 6000. 6000 plus 40 into 60 this 2020 cancel 6000 plus 40 into 60 is equal to 2400 then 6000 plus 200 2040 400 is equal to 8400 Discount percent D percent is equal to 20 percent. VAT percent is equal to 13 percent. Now we know that SP with VAT is equal to MP into 100 minus discount percent into 100 plus VAT percent by 100 into 100 by using formula of SP with VAT. MP means 8400 into 100 minus 20 into 100 plus 13 that is discount percent this one is bad percent that is equal to 8400 into 100 minus 20 is equal to 80 into 113 divided by 100 into 100 this 2020 cancel again 1010 cancel then 84 into 8 into 113 by 10 is equal to 7593.6 hence the customer should pay rs 7593.6 for that goods question number two a shopkeeper fixed the price of his goods articles 25% above the cost price if he sold article allowing 5% discount find his profit percent solution let CP of articles is equal to RSA According to question, MP of article is equal to CP plus 25% of CP because MP of article is given 25% above the cost price. CP means A plus 25% of A. A plus 25 by 100 into A. A plus a by 4 this 25 for the 100 so a by 4 let's take LCM then we will get 5 a by 4 discount percent is equal to given 5 percent swing price SP is equal to MP minus discount percent of MP by using formula MP means 5A by 4 minus 5% into 5A by 4. Take 5A by 4 is common, then 1 minus 5% means 5 by 100. 
5 by A into 95 by 100. The here take LCM. LCM is 100, then 100 minus 5, that is 95 by 100. That is equal to 95A by 84. This 5, 20 is 100, and then 4 into 20 is equal to 80. It means 95A by 80. 19A by 16. Let's cancel it by 5. Then we will get 19A by 16. Now, profit percent is equal to SP minus CP by CP into 100%. Here, SP is given 19A by 16 and CP is given A. 19A by 16 minus A by A into 100%. Take LCM here, then 19 minus 16A by 16 by A into 100%. That is equal to 3A, this 19A minus 16A, 3A by 16A into 100%. A and A cancel then 3 into 100 is 300 divided by 16 that is equal to 18.75 percent is the answer question number 3 the selling price of an article is 20 percent less than its marked price and the marked price is 30 percent above the cost price find the profit percent solution let cp of articles is equal to rsc according to question mp of article is equal to cp plus 30 percent of cp because here given marked price is 30 percent above the cost price CP means A plus 30% of A. A plus 30 by 100 into A. A plus 3A by 10, 1010 10 cancel. That is take LCM then 10A plus 3A that is 13A by 10. SP of article is equal to MP minus 20% of MP that is MP minus discount percent of MP discount percent is given 20% MP means 13A by 10 minus 20 by 100 into 13A by 10 that is equal to 13A by 10 is common take common then 1 minus 20 by 100 that is 13a by 10 into take LCM here then 100 minus 20 80 by 100 is equal to 16a by 25 now profit percent P percent is equal to SP minus CP by CP into 100 percent SP means 26a by 25 26A by 25, CP means A by A into 100%. Let's calculate it. 26A minus 25A by 25 in by A into 100%. That is 26A minus 25A, A by 25A into 100%. A and A cancel. Then 100 by 25 is equal to 4%. 25 for the 100, that is 4% is the answer. Question number 4. A watch was sold on its marked price at a gain of 20%, but allowing 5% discount, there would have been a gain of RS140. Find the cost price of the watch. Let MP of watch be RSX. SP is equal to MP is equal to X then profit percent P percent is equal to 20 because here given a, a watch was sold on its marked price 
at a gain of 20%. It means if he sold that article at mark price, he will get gain of 20%. So if MP is equal to SP, then profit percentage is equal to 20%. Now CP is equal to 100 by 100 plus profit percent into SP. 100 by 100 plus 20 into X. SP means X. 100x by 120, 100 plus 20 is equal to 120. That's calculated to reduce this nominator and denominator. We'll get 5x by 6. Again, discount percent is equal to given 5%. Then SP equal to MP minus discount percent of MP. That is 5% of MP. It means X minus 5 by 100 into x x minus x by 20 520 is 100 now take calcium then we will get 19 x by 20 if allowed at 5 percent discount then there would have been a gain rs 140 profit is equal to 140 now CP of watch is equal to SP minus profit. CP given 5XY6. Here CP of watch is 5XY6. And SP is given 19XY20. Minus profit is given 140. Now calculate it. 5XY6 is equal to 19X minus 20 into 140 by 20 let's cross multiply 5x by 6 19x minus 2800 by 20 cross multiply then 20x into 20 is equal to 100x 19 into 6 is equal to 114x minus 16800 that is equal to 100x minus 114x is equal to minus 16,800 it means minus 14x is equal to minus 16,800 minus minus cancel x is equal to 16,800 divided by 14 is equal to 1200 cost price of watch is equal to 5x by 6 5 into x means 1200 into 6 divided by 6 is equal to rs 10 1000 is the answer question number five an article after allowing a discount of 20 percent on its mark price was sold at a gain of 20 percent had it been sold after allowing 25 percent discount there would have been a gain of rs 125 find the mark price of the article let's see the solution let mp of article is equal to x discount percent d percent is equal to 20 percent SP of article is equal to MP minus discount percent of MP that is 20 percent of MP X minus 20 by 100 into X that is equal to X minus X by 5 25 is 100 is equal to 4X by 5 this 5X minus X that is 4X by 5 profit percent is equal to 20 percent CP of article is equal to 100 by 100 plus profit percent into SP. 100 by 100 plus 20 into SP means 4x by 5. 100 by 120 into 4x by 5 is equal to 400x by 600. And then it's reduce it nominator and denominator will get 2x by 3. Again discount percent is equal to given 20 percent then sp of article is equal to mp minus 25 percent of mp x minus 25 by 100 into x 
that is x minus x y four that is three x y four here take four x minus x that is three x y four now gain is equal to r s one hundred twenty now C P of article is equal to S P minus profit. C P means given two x by three. S P is three x by four minus one hundred twenty five. Here C P is given two x by three. Now let's calculate it. Two x by three minus three x by four is equal to minus one hundred twenty five. Take this three x by four in left side. So here is minus. Equal to 8x minus 9x by 12 by taking LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. Let's cross multiply. Then my 8x minus 9x that is minus x is equal to 125 into 12 is equal to 1500 minus and minus cancel. Then x is equal to 1500. Hence MP of article is equal to RS. 1500 is the answer question number six if a tourist bought a statue at a discount of 20 percent with 13 percent hat and got rs 416 back at airport what was the labeled price of the statue it means that tourist got rs 416 back at airport it is bad amount so discount percent is equal to given 20 percent bad percent is equal to 13 percent bad amount is equal to 416 bad amount is equal to bad percent of sp is equal to 416 13 percent into sp is equal to 416 13 by 100 into SP is equal to 416 SP is equal to 416 into 100 divided by 13 therefore SP is equal to RS 3200 again SP is equal to MP minus discount percent of MP it means SP is given 3200 MP minus 20% of MP 3200 is equal to MP minus 20 by 100 into MP 3200 is equal to MP minus MP by 5 this 25 is 100 take LCM then 3200 is equal to 4 MP this 5 MP minus MP is equal to 4 MP by 5 Let's cross multiply 3200 into 5 is equal to 4 MP. It means 16,000 is equal to 4 MP. Therefore, MP is equal to 4,000. Hence, the label price of the statue is equal to RS 4,000. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel.